all right everyone here we are with another video with invest for tomorrow and to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back all i ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video it helps out the youtube channel and it lets me know that you find value in the effort and time that i put into these videos so let's jump right into it so it says here this is the heading of the article april is an amazing month for stocks especially for these 11 so the stocks I'm about to show you here on this list, they might be a little bit at a high price for most people. And when you do the analysis here, this is based on the price change in the last five years in April. April is said to be historically one of the best months for stocks, especially S&P 500 stocks, and then also the overall market. I want you guys to be aware of that. So there's a lot of speculation that this April might not be the same this could be an april that's a little bit harder to kind of analyze because year over year inflation the federal reserve making remarks you know the weekly jobless claims or you know all those other x variables that can actually come up but overall historically these stocks tend to ignore all of that and they run up but the only thing different is the year over year inflation and the process into reopening so this year is a little bit different but i want you guys to be aware of it you can go ahead and pause the video and write these down and do more research on them but some of them are in the thousands i'm gonna be honest with you some of them are in the hundreds okay some of these stocks are like almost four or five hundred dollars each and then you have to go ahead and do an analysis the average return in the last five years how much they give right? nothing has given more than 10 percent amazon's given nine right and then we have others here between five and seven and then we have lows of three to four so you kind of gotta sit there and, and do your math and see if you're willing to take the risk on a position but like i said i'm not here to tell you guys to buy sell or hold any positions i'm just here to enlighten you guys and the purpose of this video is to share this but to tell you guys the top three value stocks to buy now based off of the Motley Fool article. And I'm also going to tie one of the stocks with one of the articles that I've been talking about when I do videos on this stock. And most likely, out of these three stocks, you probably own one or more or all three. We'll see. But I wanted to share this with you guys just so you guys are informed, especially with the transition going on in the market from growth and tech over to the s p 500 and most of these are in it but also these have to do with the reopening kind of sort of so yeah i want you guys to just be aware of that doesn't mean you have to take it a shot at it but be aware of this and compare their growth like let's say for example you know amazon doesn't work for you and booking holdings doesn't work for you but you want to watch them watch them carefully to see how it reacts and if they really gain five percent or how do they do just to study it and learn from it you know you're not supposed to always position yourself to take a shot at something because a lot of investors they're looking for opportunities to make money okay but a lot of investors overlook the fact that it's not all about making money sometimes it's also about learning learning is more valuable than the money you can make in a stock because if you go into a stock like what's happened from 2020 to now without learning and you just jump into it you make few dollars but you don't even understand how you made that money you just saw it go up then what about now what about in these market conditions how do you prepare yourself right so definitely do some research into that so the top three stocks i love this article here and there's some reasoning behind it so basically it's saying ocugen is one of them we got here ipoe and then we have nndm stock right nano dimensions everybody that watches my videos at some point has seen me talk about nano dimensions or has watched my videos or even owns a position in nano dimensions right or has thought about it well nano dimensions is said to be one of the stocks not just for value right now based off of this article but the motley fool posted a, a whole entire article on this back in january talking about nano dimensions being one of the stocks of the year i don't know maybe they can be completely wrong or what what's the catch but they've been talking about nndm a lot okay i find it very interesting um you know institutional ownership is pretty big on nano dimensions it's not just kathy wood 
but we all follow Kathy Wood because she likes the disruptive stocks and NNDM will be disruptive in the way chips are made. Now, IPOE is actually part of personal finance and it's going to be with the company SoFi and uh, this is said to be a big deal, okay? Like SoFi expects to grow revenue by 60% year over year to 1 billion and break even in terms of operating income less non-cash expenses. By 2025, SoFi projects its revenue and EBITDA will increase to 3.7 billion and 1.2 billion respectively. So they're just saying, hey, this company is going to grow year over year and 60% year over year. Let's just go ahead and say worst scenario, worst scenario, worst scenario and SoFi doesn't give you 60% returns on your stock, but it gives you 15 to 20%. It's giving you about one fourth, one third of the total amount that it earns in the year because you're not going to see the whole entire revenue growth. Remember, revenue is one thing. Net profit is another thing. And that's how stocks reflect higher prices or grow year over year. So there's an opportunity here, big time, especially if they can keep to what this statement says which is pretty bold but let's talk about the stock here that's going to take the spotlight in april and possibly even moving into the months of q2 so the next several months like the next three months and that's ocugen i could be completely wrong but something that's interesting here is if it's successful for ocugen to get emergency use authorization by the u.s food and drug administration they can go ahead and plan to sell 100 million doses of Covaxin in the U.S. starting in Q2 2021. That's just the beginning. If successful, Oxygen could receive or would receive up to 45% of the venture's profits, which could likely amount to $1 billion given the current pricing environment for them. That's a big deal in this environment, right? one billion added to the market cap i think this could possibly double or triple because it's right now sitting at 1.3 billion the reason why it could triple is because investor sentiment starts to run this one up higher plus the one billion of profits going straight into the market cap or the earnings you know in the next several months hey that's a big deal and they're being pretty aggressive 100 million doses of covaxin in the u.s starting q2 it's gonna be a big deal and if they go ahead and make it into becoming the booster shot or the one that you need to get every six months or every year, Ocugen's going to have reoccurring type of profits from Covaxin coming into their bookings, into their balance sheet. I mean, that's just going to make their earnings grow. It's going to make everything. So I believe personally, Ocugen's going to take the spotlight in April. We may see it run. But there's going to be also a cool off probably because then we have to wait for the revenue to kick in the net profits that could amount right up to 1 billion. That's going to be a big deal for this company. And then they go ahead and say that this is one heck of a fantastic move on Ocugen's part to fund its own research. I would definitely recommend Avid Biotech investors add to their portfolios. So basically they're talking about how they won't have to do any more offerings and they can reinvest these profits back into their gene therapies for what they really focus on, which is gene therapies when it comes to eyesight or something like that. But big, big deal here. Covaxin is gonna be a huge, huge focus in April and moving forward. And it's probably gonna get distributed around the US. And this is a very aggressive way to get started. I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts down below. Comment down below which one of these you own. What is your position? Do you see yourself adding more? And are you excited for April because it's said to be the best month for trading stocks or performance, quote unquote, that the stocks actually do well. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.